If you're a baby boomer, you're looking to downsize and you're saying, well, I'm kind of cashing out. So I'm going to sell my expensive home and I'm going to buy something a little bit more affordable, a little cheaper. We're going to you know, put some equity aside as part of my retirement, whatever the case may be. Um, versus someone that's, that's going the other way, selling a condo uh, and, and moving, you know, into the uh, the, the freehold, right? An upsizer. Um, those are two very different scenarios, right? Because the condo market, well, I don't know what you've been seeing down uh, in Burlington there, but I'm sure it's been very similar. The condo market has picked up uh, in the last couple of weeks, whereas Burlington, it's picked up big time. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was the stuff was sitting on the market, but then the last couple of weeks, just boom, every now your multiple offers like crazy in, in the condo market too, right? I was at a listing appointment in uh, Toronto last night, sort of condo, yeah. and uh, part of my relocation group, and they're moving to Ottawa, okay? And so we were lining up the dates and looking at their a strategy and a plan, and the reality is is that they they want to sell first, no, and and again they've got great equity, they could easily buy first. Right. But it's the uncertainty of they've seen homes in their building that have taken a long time to sell. Yeah. yeah. Going quickly back to what you were saying about the upsizers and the downsizers, the conservative downsizers have seen the markets for the last 30, 40 years. They're traditionally in a position where they would want to sell and then buy, even though they're more in the driver's seat to buy and then sell versus the, the upsizers, the people going up in the market it's actually in many situations better for them to sell first and then to buy for their equity so that they exactly know what they can afford versus they get caught 